Ever since we started this channel, we've been asking the professionals to give us some tips and show us them some of their favorite shots. I've picked out half a dozen of them, so please enjoy. We went to Belgium to visit the world champion Luca Brissell, and he showed us, well, it's quite strange actually, it's a short shot, but he uses a very long bridge when the cue ball is uh, away from the cushion. You're very unique in the way. So, so it, before you play this, so every, every player, like for me, I, I, would, I would go like this for a screw shot. My hand would be here. Yeah. And I think most, but maybe Selby has got quite a long bridge. Yeah, Selby's got. But you, you've always just felt yeah. comfortable with a yeah, really I'll, long bridge. Yeah, I've always played like this. I think Rob Milkins got quite a long yeah. bridge. Uh, Ding Jun Wee. But yeah, when I see have you, you play Have you ever so, tried to go close then? No. Yeah, I've tried it. And it just uh, my aiming goes okay. different. That's why I, when I play it like this, yeah. I don't see the shot as good as right, like okay. when I'm here. Okay. Got yeah, because your your, stan your stance is different, isn't it? Your yeah. stance is a little bit side on. Yeah, almost. Exactly, right. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's the reason. But when you play that shot, like here, it looks very natural. Yeah. It looks uh, the right way, but yeah. for me, it doesn't feel good. Yeah. I mean, so I, I I could couldn't possibly play that way without no, without miscue. No. But for me, it feels very. <laughs> yeah. It's, it feels like nothing can go can yeah. go wrong really. And it's just a matter. You just basically point the cue in the way and just. Yeah. What Steve Davis and I talked about a lot during the World Championships is how free your cue actions because of that. Yeah. Because everyone was kind of going towards, I mean, you watch John Higgins and he, he's almost like he's in mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And everyone seems to be going towards that shorter yeah. because of the, the cloths, but you were comple completely against the grain. For me, it just feels good, so I don't know why I should go shorter, you know? Yeah. Sometimes I do, and like when I'm here on the yeah. black, I, I would go like this. And yeah. this, this would feel very short for me, but it's yes. actually a normal bridge. Right, it's not comfortable in my eye, but I mean, no, it's, like, I know, it's obviously, obviously comfortable yeah, in you. Yeah. Just, play a, just play a little stun up today. Yeah. So even like, like, no power, you still have the, the long, pretty long backswing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of just the aiming. It's, yeah, that's but the reason. It's, but you, the feeling you get, that smoothness, is, is, what it, is what it all matters, isn't it? It's yeah, what it matters, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. This one is from Kyron Wilson, who gave us a Q-tip on long potting from one of the best long potters in the game of snooker today. Is it something you practice a lot, or? Yeah, you know, it's obviously a massive part of the game, especially mm. in today's world. I think opportunities are few and far between yeah. with how good the players are. So the you, likes you don't of turn you, down much, do you? No. If you see an opportunity to get in. You look at the likes of, you know, your Luca Brussels, who's just won the World Championships. You yeah. know, probably a big part of that probably was his long game. But yeah. Um, yeah, I like to do this one in particular. So, you know, the cloths are always changing, as you know, as well. Yeah. So we're always playing on new cloths. And when you're playing with a touch of side, you basically have to just readjust your aim, don't you? So, yeah. as I mentioned previously, the titanium ferrules help with that. I'm probably going to butcher this now that I've said that. <laughs> but you, so, you, you, if you're playing with a touch of running side, left hand side, yeah. so if you didn't have deflection, I, I mean, some of it goes over my head as well, but left hand, left hand side automatically push, push the keyboard to this, yeah. right? So, you'd be aiming thicker, yeah. normally, yeah. But, you, but you don't have to do that with that ferrule. Yeah, I just aim to pop the ball. Well, that's, I mean, that's such an advantage, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the only thing is, if you've grown up all your life allowing for side, yeah. to suddenly change to yeah. not allowing, that's quite uh, a big that's change. That's like I say, I think I'm quite lucky because I'm quite a sensible striker. I'm quite right. a straight cue. Well, that's, we always talk about that in commentary house. Yeah, I think, you know, there's obviously players that, that have very natural, unusual techniques, if you like, yeah. that would be cabbage by that yeah um but i think the likes of you know myself john john's very straight yes um you know it obviously it's only going to benefit so yeah like i say I've, I, I chuck this side in with a lot of left hand side i'm trying to work out how much the cloth is sort of throwing yeah. is that because you you're one of the ones that you like to go into the arena don't you have a knock 10 minutes before that if you can do that say the masters yes yeah. yeah and is that what that's for to try and get a, a feel of the cloth yeah i like to see sort of what's happening out there how it feels out there obviously the conditions the, the temperature everything can yeah. change from day to day if it's rained outside as yeah. crazy as that sounds so yeah i'd just like to get adjusted interestingly i won the european masters early on last season right and there was one practice table that was actually out in the arena you know the Stat Haller, like yes. the Paul Hunter yeah. Classic. Can you yeah. remember the big staircase? Yes, I do, yeah. There used to be like a little bit of a kind of a shop. Right. Well, there was merchandise yes. all over a table. This year, well, last year, that was actually a practice table. Okay. So there was three in the backstage where the players' lounge was. Right. And there was one in the arena. Okay. Well, when the fans were coming down, they were all queuing up on that staircase, watching that practice right. table. Okay. I book that every time. Really? Yeah, I'll clear routines and have maximums, and I'll get a big round of applause <laughs> from like 50 yeah, to 100 people. I, I, that's something when I, when I see players out in the arena practicing before, <clears> it's something I would never like to do because it's strange because when you're playing a match, the Ali Pali, you've got 2,000 people watching you. But yeah. if I was practicing, I didn't want anyone watching me, which yeah, is like yeah. a weird thing for me to get my head around. Well, around. it's all changing now as well. I think 
sort of value for money for snooker fans now mm -hmm. is brilliant yeah. because as you've probably seen you've got like the viewing windows yeah. in the practice yep. rooms so yep. you know that's great to see what the, the guys are up to practicing yeah. before a match that's fantastic but yeah i think it's good to adapt to it yeah as early as possible yeah so. this shot then if you've got this in the match what is it out of 10 getting it seven eight yeah, I'd like to say eight. Yeah. I'd like to say eight. Again, it's it's so different each time. You know, you, you play for a tournament first round, you get used to playing it a certain way. Yeah. Then the cloths get older, you aim a touch different. Yeah. Because of the and you, Would you prefer playing this with a little bit of stun rather than top spin? Yeah, I'd be that... stun left hand side. Right, okay. Yes. Yeah, you know, I'd prefer to sort of go through the ball rather yeah. than yeah. float it. I think really. most play most of the top players do now these days. Yeah. We just perfect. cut there, yeah. Huh? Just yeah, cut there. absolutely. But I mean, you're, you're not in a colour. But I mean, <laughs> yeah. that, that was, I mean, the perfect example yeah. of a. Well, I mean, I still don't know what it means—a shot to nothing. But. Yeah, that's. I like to vary it. You know, I, I play it hard around the angles, then I'd hold for the blue. Yeah. Then, if I'm feeling quite fruity, I'll hold for the black. <laughs> <laughs> would you Would you try and put I don't know so many in a row and then go to the next one or? or? Yeah. One thing Barry Stark he he always likes me to do is he likes me to go side to side, not get too comfortable going one yeah. after the other because yeah. then you're varying it and you're kind of, of you know you're changing your vision. Well, in a so. match you're not getting the same shot all the exactly. time, are you? So yeah, you don't want to be too comfortable one yeah. side. Brilliant, thank you. This one is from Rianne Evans, who showed us this routine that she's got from her new coach. Before I started working with Chris, I used to just do tees, lineups, right. colours off the spots any time. Can you do it? Yeah. Blues into the pack. Great, he's got the, the, the do, you, do you do the pink and black routine as well? Yeah, I like Which that. Which is a tough one, isn't it? it? But I keep my concentration so bad. Right. I keep forgetting Emily, I've potted or have I potted <laughs> in the corner, have I potted? <laughs> he says try and do seven, doesn't he? Seven pinks and blacks. Oh, he's bad to me. He said ten. Ten. Oh, it used to be seven to me. It used to be seven, and it used to it used to be so hard to get to seven. Yeah. But then when you get to sort of ten, you get in a roll. Yeah. And it's almost like hard. And then you, you could do like. Yeah, I, I think my record them, yeah. was ninety-one. I think so. Yeah. That took about three hours. I think I've done fifty-one day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a really good routine. It but, is. So what's this one here? So, he says to me, he's like, "You're good. You you can part." He says, "But your break building it lets you down." Right. So your cue ball. So he says, "In and around the black and things like that, you need to know." without thinking where they're going to go and how to play it. Right. So obviously playing with a little bit of touch aside here and yeah. there. And you just have to cannon. Okay, put the black in cannon, yeah. cannon the reds, okay. Yeah. So it was, and this is something I never thought about doing ever. Yeah. So if I had to work with Chris, I wouldn't have sure. done this routine, do you know what I mean? Because when, when I, another thing, when I'm playing tournaments, playing, um, playing these first rounds, I get caught out with the tables. They're yeah. so fast. Yeah. I mean, they're beautiful to play on. Yeah. But I get caught out with position. Yeah. Little, the slightest little bit of side. At like the tournament, I've just played in the World Championship. I was, I couldn't get to grips with it. Yeah, you said to me, "Is your table weird?" <laughs> <laughs> I did. Like, I said to you in the yeah, interval. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I made a century. I mean, the cue ball was all over the place. Really, it wasn't. It, it, I don't think it was. It was all right, but it wasn't pretty. Yeah. Um, not like I didn't feel good. No. Um, the way, but um, but yeah. That, so you, these shots are quite. You know, knowing what the cue ball is going to do off the cushion is important, isn't it? Yeah, there is another routine where you get used to the tables, the throw, and things like that. But I found this like the most important one for me. Right. As in where I need to improve. Okay. So. Which red do you cannon first? I always start like the furthest one and work okay. my way through. Are you have you got a, a favourite side? I prefer playing with left. Left. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so this, so this running side. So that's yeah. this suits you. Okay. Yeah. So that's the first. The first. And so that, that's the, that's obviously more side yeah. than you would need for for this one. Yeah, obviously. so you can gradually say, oh, it's less and less. And yeah. And so it didn't quite get enough no. side on. Would, would you have to do all all three in a row, and then start again, or, or would you, you relay yourself so many shots? Right. Okay. Well, the first one or two times you just you just said play it right. and see how many you do it in. Just right. until you completed it, and then set yourself little targets and bring it down. How much time would you spend on this this kind of routine? Um, especially like coming up to tournaments, this is let's probably go, one of Let's go for this one now. Let's go, yeah, go the, the side, the side <laughs> that you don't like, the right hand side. <laughs> See, I, I think this is for me. This would be such an, an easier shot because you're because you're because you're yeah. stunning a little bit. Yeah. That that shot to me, you know, the first one you're playing. Yeah. I find that because I'm not playing a lot, I decel so much in yeah, that yeah. shot, and it's horrible. Because if you decel, it's just well, the black goes here, and it's uh, <laughs> it's just a, just a, it's a whole can of worms. Yeah. 
Lovely. I don't mind playing right hand side there, but you know, like canning from the, if I send you switch oh, right, and play right, from okay, these from side, the opposite side, side the right hand. Okay. Playing like these ones to play right, with okay. the right. That's when I sort of struggle a little bit. Do you do you generally put side on every single shot? Virtually. Right. I mean, working with Chris, my lung straight balls. He tried to like get me as close to centre as possible, yeah. especially on these cloths because right. it can make exactly, it silly yeah. at times, yeah. can't it? But in general, I always play with the touch of side here and yeah. there. Because I, as I say that mo most players don't play playing ball. No. It's the hardest thing in the world it, almost to play. You could drive ball. yourself crazy, I think, <laughs> <laughs> trying, unless it naturally comes to yeah. you. I think it's so hard to do. Well, when, when I first went with Chris, he's, um, he, he, he said, right, we're play this shot you know he, he has the one up and down the spots yeah take the paint to set to in the middle and I was like and he said right put the cue ball there and I thought well, I'm putting left hand side he's no you're in the middle there yeah I yeah. couldn't believe it yeah that's the thing with all pros isn't it yeah that's what I don't know if you've noticed the balls that he's got like yeah the, the ping the pong the ball things ones, yeah. yeah so especially when you're on your own because you, as you say I didn't realize I was doing it yeah you thought it was center whereas you can see it yourself yeah if you if you do it so it is a good yeah. training aid so let's finish with um this one. How this are you going to play that one? one for yeah, me. that's why I wanted you to finish oh, with that thanks. one. <laughs> I couldn't do the first one. <laughs> so how are, you, how are you playing this one? I play it with a tiny touch of right, and, and how um, high up the cue ball? Just like a stun run through, sort of. Right. Okay. It's like just above centre. Right. I mean, you're, you're perfectly on the red, but you <laughs> don't go the can. I mean, it's a sort of routine that. I mean, it could drive you mad. Yeah. But, but but if when you'd start doing it, it's like so it gives you so much of a boost yeah, in your game, doesn't it? I mean, when I've it's one of my favourites because it makes me concentrate, yeah. and it's something that I've not really done before. It's like right. it's an incentive to do it. Yeah. It's like you said, the blue, the pink and the black off yes. the spot. It's it's something a little bit different that you you don't normally see players practice. Yeah. It just brings that element of like, oh, okay, something to try on yeah. rather than. But oh, you wouldn't you wouldn't do up. this at a tournament though, would you? Uh, would you or not? Just maybe to start with because okay. the throw of the tables and because right. every, every table we play on plays so different and obviously we were there on feeling this year as well. I struggled to get feeling. Right, okay. So at least I've got some sort of better idea of how I'm going to be playing sort yeah. of thing. But yeah, I just found this one really, really interesting. Yeah. Right, let's... Well, so you're that, on that one, look. That, that's, yeah, because you almost missed the black thin, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it's, as you say, this is the hardest one. Yeah. It's so easy to decelerate. Yeah. And, and because obviously if you're in a sort of frame situation, exactly, yeah. you're trying to clear up and maybe there's the pink and red are together, you've got to get exactly, the cannon to clear yeah, up. Yeah. It's just slightly either side of the, yeah. the red or the pink or something. It's, it's one of the most important ones. There you yeah. go. Oh. There you go. Oh, well, give me that. I mean, that was that was a literally a hair away from it. Yeah, Ex excellent routine. Yeah. Thanks very much for showing us that. Welcome. This routine is from Michael Holt, uh, teaching us how to get in and out of bulk when you're wrong side of the blue. We're gonna get all the colours on spots because obviously they'll be there hopefully in a frame. Yeah. And it's you play in the blue, get back on the blue. So it seems a bit strange. Okay. But if you think about playing this up and down the table, to get back on the blue, it's the same lines that you'd be choosing. Is if he was coming for a red, okay, and it's in and out of ball. You got to avoid the colours, yeah. and you're learning where those spots are on the cue ball. Yeah, I mean it's obviously that in a, in a, in a phrase, it's a cardinal sin, and it low, low and Correct. kind of short in the blue when you when you want yeah. to be high. And do you? I mean, Sean Murphy went a little bit of the way of playing for a bolt colour instead of the blue. I know what he's thinking of, but yes, a wee bit negative. <laughs> Yeah, we can. It's, it's about. I think he's trying to edge his bets, isn't it? Yeah. But then you find that horrible spot about there, don't you? Well, that's that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you can't quite. You're not quite got the yeah. angle, but it's one of them. I mean, yeah. if it works, it works, don't it? Yeah. And and if you're in a, a match, this shot, what what do you favour between yellow and brown, or between brown and green? If you had the choice, I, obviously the the running side's the easier because you're the correct side of middle for the shot you're playing, aren't you? Yeah. You know, as soon as you go the wrong side like this, the right hand side, it's, it's yeah. harder shot, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so that is, you know, in, in there is if you're going into the pack. But yeah. I would usually go this way if I can. Right. So what's the routine? You, you've got to just play for the blue. Yeah, keep playing for the blue. And I right. think it's one where obviously you don't have to be a professional level to do it. Yeah. You can just get your score. And it's, the thing is, these shots, like I was saying before about practicing, they're not hard pots. Yeah. But the pots that come up. Well, I mean, I, I'm sick of saying in commentary, the, pot, the, the, the shots that cost you matches are the easy ones. Absolutely. It's never the difficult ones. Absolutely. So if you're playing this shot well every time, yeah. 
well, it's, you're yeah. going to get benefit. If you go, because also when you see like an, an underdog playing up against Ronald Sub in the first yeah. round, I always say in commentary, if you can go through this match, not miss an easy shot, yeah. you can beat them. Well, you'll, you'll win a lot of mistake <laughs> matches. Yeah. You know, if you so go through a season, you'll probably win three or four tournaments. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Because you see people miss, like you say, balls that they expect to get. Yeah. So I think for me, when you're practicing, although you've got to practice the long stuff and the hard stuff, and yet you yeah. have to, but a lot of your time should be spent on the bread and butter stuff. Oh, ab- absolutely, absolutely. That's exactly what I did in my practice routines. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you did lineups, yeah. didn't you? You know, so it's this like this. Coming back, again, if you play on the ball, well, I hit well now, I'm going to bang on the pressure on her. You got into it too much, maybe? Oh, it's not bad, oh, keep thing. going. Uh, so, obviously a bit short, but again, that same line as if it was coming for red. So, so, now, so now what have you got to do then? Well, I've got to come back on the blue, so it's the, I'm coming back off here to get back on the blue again. Okay, and are you, are you setting a target how many blues to get, or? <sighs> Start no, at just 40, a, 50, and if you can beat your score the next time. Right, okay. You know, but again, it's a, it's a, it's a, a you got to, you got to focus on what you're doing. Course, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. the lineup thing. It's not the balls that there are. You've got to focus, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you can get in that that rhythm of just playing these shots, I mean, this is a bit not the greatest shot I've ever played there. A bit slow this table. I don't know very well. Right. So we're back down there, look. So that was check side. Yeah, just position. a bit of tracer right. Yeah. Right. So we're doing it again. I mean, you can. It's the same shot again here. So if it, That's a better shot. Yeah, there we are. We're happy, aren't we? So you develop that in other colours? Same sort of thing? Or? You, c- you can go, yeah, well, the pink. Obviously, you can do the pink. So pot the pink, pound the pink. Very easy. Shots. Yeah. But you can make it different. You can sort of try and go around in a circle. So you, you're, you're learning exactly where to aim on the white to move it in a spot. Right, okay. And, and, the, and these sort of shots in the balls are coming back all the time. Right. You've always got, you might have a little gap you've got to get through. You need to know exactly okay. where you need to hit it to get that response. Okay. So. Again, we're coming up. We're going the wrong way, right? So, so. I'll what do you think is the best for, in terms of the game now? And because obviously, the, when you get to the tournaments, the, the cloths are hyper responsive yeah, and super and quick. quick. Yeah. Do you think the shorter backswing is the way to go now? Whatever you can repeat. Yeah. You keep. You keep. Absolutely. Saying that, yeah. Absolutely. Because you've got to play with feel. Like even the yeah. most. Uh, robotic of players like Neil mm. or, or, or Kyron, yeah. they'll be playing on feel. Yeah. They've just got a more sort of s- deliberate demeanour, haven't yeah. they? You know, so yeah, yeah. people look at them, oh, I've got to play like a robot. Yeah. But it's the game's feel. Yeah. You know, these little shots are all feel. You've got to feel the cue in your hand. You've got to feel that, you know, the, the sort of, the re- you know, the, the feel you, yeah. of the white going when you hit the, when you hit it, look, and you can just. So it, that was a wee bit of a D cell though, wasn't it? No, I just didn't do it hard enough. I just did it hard enough. Right. Was it? No, I just did that no, rolled off. Because when I look at someone like Dave Gilbert, yeah, well, he's got the longest backswing yeah. in the world, yes. and he's got, and I've seen him a few like not mine, but be that in the blue and trying to hold, and the blue's not reached the pocket. He's just he's not hit it hard enough. Yeah, but it's, it seems to be such a like uh, to try and judge that. That seems to be such a difficult no, thing well, to do. No, when he pulls his cue back, it's obviously hard. I mean, you, you practice with him, you don't mix. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, but, yeah. So listen, he's a yeah, fabulous yeah, yeah, player. He's incredible. I'm, I'm not criticizing him at all, but but what I mean is. I know what you mean about the D cell, but if they've decelled, with the D cell thing, it's it's, infer- it's in- implying that you've got to be going accelerating through the wire. Yeah. Right? But when you hit the wire, it's on for a tenth of a second. Right. So for me, pe- I, when I'm coaching people, they're obsessed with getting like getting through it, which yes. you don't like me, because yeah, the yeah. ball's gone after about that. Yeah. Right. So you've got to get, you've got to be going the correct speed at impact. So all you've got to do is focus on that rather than accelerating or decelerating. Yeah. If you decelerate to a point where you're not going hard enough, yeah. then you've not hit it hard enough. Yeah. But if you de- if I start at, if you've got to go in five mile an hour at impact, yeah. you start at 10, finish at zero. If you're getting slower, but at impact you're going five mile an hour, it'll knock it in. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know, when I'm coaching, players with quick hits all the time, yeah. I just say decelerate, decelerate. Right. Yeah, it's it lovely. Yeah. I think the term's a little bit misleading. Right. I don't think you miss, if, if you miss, if I hit the correct part of the white, yeah. but don't hit it hard enough, it won't get to the pocket. Of course, yeah. So the fact that I've decelled, I'm not hit it hard enough. Yeah. But, but, that, but that's, what, that's what I mean, the decels cause you not to hit it hard enough. Yes. So but there's a decel there. But it's not the fact that you're getting slower at impact, it's the fact yeah. that at impact you weren't going quick enough. Right, okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'm, I'm, I, I kind of do, but as, yeah, as, as, yeah. I, said, as I said to you, I'm, I'm, I, I, a lot of it goes over my head. So when you hear me say on, on TV, he's d you're like, Stephen, you're talking absolute nonsense. It's worse to them effect, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm living on my own, I might use, you know. So, but I, again, I think what it is, it's an armless term. I, I, it's more the fact that I just think people should focus on right, just hit it at the right pace. 
And yeah. if you're dec- decelerating on impact, it don't matter as long as you're going the correct pace. Right. Okay. So to say, oh, don't decel, then people think I've got to, I've got to rush through it. Right. Okay. Or pass it through it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. terms got me. Yeah. You know, they, I've got to accelerate impact. Yeah. So they eat it too quick. Yeah. So they get that, that's 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 one of the thoughts I have in, in power shots. Like if I've got a black to, to split the pack. Yeah. There's no there's no time in there. I mean, it's, it's I end up going. Yeah. Well, you need a longer swing, don't you? Yeah. That li- what do you mean the little little black screw shot? No, no, black to split the pack. Power, oh, right, power yeah. shots I find that hard to get because I do need a bit of a pod, but but I find power shots I'm I'm kind of going like that. Yeah, because you need to pull. You got you need a longer run up, don't you? So a plane yeah. on a runway starts well back, doesn't it? So it can gradually get to the acceleration. Now, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what well, it is, it's, it's an example of yeah. a longer, a longer run-up, yeah. you can accelerate at a more controlled pace, yeah. so you can control, get that tenth of a second right, because yeah. that's all that matters, yeah. right? Whether you're coming across it, loads of players have been great careers, don't excuse straight, yeah. but catch the right bit of the wire, it goes in. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. perf- it's a perfect example. Yeah. So with that longer run-up with power, you can control it, rather yeah. than starting a third of the way before the end of the runway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Anyway, that's my in the mind. So, so the, sorry, go back to the routine yes. then. So the routine is to try and pot the pink in, in, all, in all four pockets? Yeah, or? and use all four pockets and, and keep playing on it. And you're playing little soft screws all the time. Right. And like I say, if you want to make it harder, just go around in the circle that yeah. way. Then you can go around the other way. Right. And yeah, it seems a bit simple, but the shots that are coming up all yeah, the time. Absolutely, yeah. You know, and again, the simple stuff, you do all that right every time. Really? Michael Holt's Bread and Butter Coaching. Correct. That's, that's a new title. I'm giving that's, you the title. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> this one's quite a complex routine. It's from Barry Hawkins and it really aids cue ball control. It's one I made up myself, I suppose. Other someone else has done it before, but I see some funny funny shapes patterns of reds yeah. now. And I think I think sometimes Sometimes I don't really I don't think they really do. We can overcomplicate it. But but what I would say is when I'm watching playing these qualifying matches as I'm playing and I'm right down at the bottom. Mm. The cue ball control has improved so much. Yeah, and this over, is over the past year. And exactly. it's probably due to these difficult yeah, and Cause, I think... Because all I ever did was a line-up or spread the reds. Yeah, and doing that, the same thing, the whites more or less going in the same yeah. area of the table yeah. all the time and stuff like that. Yeah. So I've done this, I've made this one up. I don't know if someone else has done it before. My priority when I was practicing was just to clear the table. Yeah, and just keeping your, the timing yeah, going and, 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 and the striking the ball well and all that sort of stuff. But Well, I just thought when, if you say you did the line-up 10 times in a row, mm. you're doing that regularly. And then by the time you get a tournament, the first chance you get, you're going to clear up because you've been doing it day in yeah, day. Yeah, that yeah. was my thinking. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, it worked for you, didn't it? So, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I do agree that there's some of these, I mean, you've set this up and already this, I'm like, what's You're thinking, what's he doing here? <laughs> so for these reds here, yeah. you have to get on these reds and, and pot in that middle pocket. Right, you're not allowed that corner? No, no corners, okay. only in the middle. So okay. you're playing a lot of the times, you're playing that shot off the black, the two cushions, because that, you're coming that's, up that, that, and that, coming around. That's a tricky positional shot yeah, in a match. So it, it comes up quite a lot though, I think. Yeah. Um, and, and again, for that side, them reds in this, in this middle. Okay. And these reds in either corner. Okay. I need the bolt corners though. Right, okay. Um, and obviously you've got that red there for like backup right, okay. if you come. Right, so would you, would, you, would you start on that red? Uh, no, I'd always normally start on this one. To make it easier, you can move the, the reds closer to give you more, 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 more room, room around yeah. here. I've probably made it. So yeah, don't know if anyone else has ever done this one, but. <laughs> Because if you if you had say this black, you had a choice. You'd always play two cushions. You never play one cushion up here. Yeah. Um, it obviously depends if it's red yeah. in the way, but you no, prefer exactly. to play two uh, cushions. Yeah, def- definitely two cushions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if the red was more near the t- middle of the table, obviously, one then cushion. just one cushion. Okay. But, um, but so I, 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 I think coming gives you just, just a better route, doesn't it? Yeah. Gives up to the line for the well, red. You got more a little bit more, more margin for error. Yeah, yeah, exactly. and it's more of a just a nice cueing shot, I think. Yeah. You've got to be more positive. For yeah, it. yeah. So you're playing it stun and a touch of right hand side, run um, side? Yeah, maybe a little bit more, almost like a screw shot, I suppose, really? isn't it? Okay. I think that was too hard, but. Are you are you playing for no, I re- an, I mean, an area or a specific a, red? An area, but basically you should be playing for the. Yeah. If you really complicate even more, do the reds in order. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've, butch- I've really butchered that, to be fair. Are you, are you allowed to hit the other red? No. No. Yeah. Um, you can take the pinks. Right, okay. You can take pinks, they don't have to be black. Okay. I'm making it up as I go along. Yeah. 
<laughs> just because I landed awkward on that red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, before that, you know, all, See, only, like black, now, only black. So now I'll, I'll probably play for one of these to get okay. one of these out of, out of the way. Oh, so you wouldn't take the bail out red? No, yet. I think I'll, I'll maybe save that for later. Right. Um, although you could do. And how many, um, oh, that's actually how many gone, years have you been um, doing this? How many, is this a, a, new, a new thing? or Well, a, this one here? Yeah. Um, it's quite new, I suppose, yeah. I mean, a yeah. couple of years. But now, look, all of a sudden, look, I'm, in, I'm in trouble now. Right, just, well, put it, put it that's, you want to be there, do you? Right, okay. But what, um, no one saw that. So, supposing, it, when you've been playing as long, as long as you have, you want to try and make practice a bit interesting, isn't it? So you just give you something. Things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Otherwise, you get a bit stale, I think. Just, I mean, as you, you get older, you realise just potting balls is not good enough. You, no. got, you need to be working on no. things, you know? And see, I've noticed the difference yeah. in break building. Um, the standard's gone so much higher, like yeah. even further down the rankings, everybody's just knocking in breaks for fun. I mean, you must see it now. Like, yeah, absolutely. The yeah. qualifiers I'm seeing, you know, you leave, you leave people in and, and they're you know, if you leave them with the, with the reds open, they're going to pot them all. Yeah, you ain't coming back Whereas to the table. Whereas maybe before, you, you know, yeah. you, you might have got, you might go back to the table. You're not, I'm finding you're not getting back to the nah. table. No, I mean, every now and again you do, you get a bit lucky, yeah. I suppose, with someone yeah. struggling or whatever, but yeah. more often than not, you're, Funny you're enough, getting punished. Punished. I see more bad shots in the TV stage than I do when I've been playing people. Yeah, that's what I'm, <laughs> yeah it's mad. Behind, it's mean, behind closed doors and in the qualifiers, I mean, yeah. Maybe well, it's obviously it's obviously people, pressure. It's yeah. a different it's a different setup in the, in the main yeah. venue. Yeah, I and mean, people can't not not settled out there, I suppose, but yeah. not used to the different situation. But like you say, in qualifying, it's just breaks everywhere, and it? yeah, it's, yeah, it's a and and, high and, and safety, I think, is improved yeah. a lot as well. So hey, would you would you this routine if you were in in the club doing it? Would you keep doing this until you until I've done it? it. Until yeah, you've yeah, done it. yeah. I probably would do. Yeah. Unless I've been doing it all day and I've, seen it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I've just had enough. I've done that, do I'm off. <laughs> um, so you're, you're already on the bailout red. Yeah. And I'm straight on it as well. Right. When, right. So that bridge there. Okay. Yeah. You need to talk us through this bridge. I know. Because it is that the is. worst bridge I think, <laughs> yeah. in, in, in world snooker. It is. It is. It is the worst. I don't even know why it, where it comes from. Um, but set up again. So, so that, you've always done this, obviously. Yeah, so I th most people do that, don't they? No, that just feels. Yeah, well, I mean, if I, yeah, well, if I was, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not left-handed, but yeah, probably. I, I try and. Oh, you know, yeah. My, well, I try my best to get my hand on the table, and if it's too just, close, like that's yeah. probably too. Yeah, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be that. I mean, that feels. If me for me to do that, <laughs> that just feels unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. I um, so yeah, maybe I'd get my hand, but most often I just I grip the cushion with these them fingers. Right, and that one just seems to sit on top. I don't know right. how. <laughs> uh, on telly, you, I mean, you, have you seen on telly? You must, must think look, that looks. It must look awful. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. But I've done it for so long. I've done it ever since I played, so I can't. Yeah. I can't change now. It's and, almost um, like a, a, a sort of pool. You'd never ever recommend. No, you, no, you, you you'd never that. recommend that. You I think. I'm not sure if Alfie Burden does a funny, right. funny bridge off the cushion. Not quite right. like mine, but right. Yeah, I don't even know where that come from. It just, it just felt natural. You going along your nail. It's yeah. like it doesn't look solid at all, does it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've no. destroyed your bridge. Oh, though, I'm never going to use this again. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone. I've done it. Well, yeah, thanks thanks Wait, so much for that. that yes, yeah, excellent. Great tip. Great Cheers. Tip. Thanks. This one is from the wizard John Higgins. It's quite an advanced uh, routine. Um, quite difficult. You've got to start with a long pot and then you've got to make a one four seven. This one, Stephen, always do. Uh, I don't actually know if I ever took it off you or. Uh, Five reds between the pink and the black. Right. Then put four reds here. Right. Do the long one. You leave yourself right. a long straight one. He, he I maybe did that, but I'd maybe never left the long one first. Well, you <laughs> uh, kick it off. Right, okay. And then five reds below the black. So pot, pot this red. Right. Obviously. And it's, yeah, so this, this is for. Obviously, I mean, cue ball control in it because obviously yeah. that red clears that red and, yeah. and so on. And try not to, to hit any of the other reds as well. Okay. I'm so, give, so, you're, go so, you, so you basically got to pot red, black. So you basically got to get rid of these five reds right. before you start to tackle this. Okay, so you, have, so you got these are the reds you, you put first. Yeah, because you, you, could, you could get rid of this one as well. Yeah. But then obviously it's going to be really difficult for you to get, actually get round. Yeah. To, to, to this ball in here, 
yeah. without going this yeah, direction. Of course, yeah, because you need to use cushions. So you've got right. to actually get rid of these five reds first. Right, okay. And then if you can get rid of these five reds and blacks to then obviously get round right. to this side. Yeah. To then obviously <laughs> pot that and then you've obviously then... Yeah, because whenever I did the lineup, I, I never had many too low because I just, I don't know, it just... I, that, that was one shot, I think, was my Achilles heel. This shot? That, that I would always drop it in dead weight. Yeah. I couldn't stun it. I know. Can, I know, do, can you play of, that all right? No, a lot, a lot of the boys do it nowadays. I know, I don't as know. If it's just, as, as if it's just like... I seen Mark Allen play one other day, and he was like, it was, it was in the final frame and he was there. Something like that. And potted it and stunned the cue ball up for them. I mean, it was, I'm thinking, what a shot. I know. But, but that's an easy shot, isn't it? I know. But I'm, well, I'm like, oh no, my I God. No, I agree with you. I agree with you. I'm, I'm, more of a, I'm more of a roller than, yeah. than a stunner. Now, yeah. when, when you see a lot of, the, a lot of the, the other players, they sort of stun it out. Yeah. I'm thinking that is so much harder, but, yeah. but I'm more I mean, what, if, you're, if you're like, got to, say you got to stun that, what, what are you thinking when you get down to stun that for, the, say, the black in the same pocket? <laughs> Me too. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's, it's such a hard shot. Well, because any think. any deceleration, you just look silly, didn't you? I see you've hit that great. I know, but it's a hard shot, and it? Yeah. it is a hard shot. Yeah. So I mean, if I was faced with that angle, I'm like, remember Robbie do, used to do that? Oh, Robbie, <laughs> Alan, Robbie, <laughs> Robbie do, used to do, do, used to do that when he was in the club. <laughs> they used to do that, but yeah, uh, it's, but it's, it's it's a hard shot. But that that routine. If you can do that and, and do a one four seven with that routine without touching any reds, is that what you do? You you aim to do a one four seven. Aye. Or you got to take blacks. Got to take blacks. Right. Got okay. to take blacks and and how many? How many? Say you've done it ten times. How many times you do it? None. <laughs> <laughs> you've got you've got you've got to be you've got to be hitting the ball really well to actually yeah, yeah. do to to do that. Right. And, if, and obviously, if you miss, you start again. Start again. Yeah, yeah. So that's if, one. That's uh, in any routine. I think that's the most important thing aye. for players learning. If you play any routine, if you miss, start again, don't keep going. Uh, if there's anybody, I, I don't think there's any amateur yeah. that, that could do that routine. Yeah. I, I, think, I think you'd have to be a professional yeah. to, to do that and not touch any reds, black, yeah. back and forth, back and forth, and then clear I up. I think I'd be half an hour trying to put the first long red. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's, that's yeah. a routine I try and do, Stephen. Wow. So uh, Great routine.